Yes. Yeah. All right, so we are back in. She said $200. Yeah, because, like, a bottle. Yeah. A bottle, but, like, you know, for a little nightcap. Yeah. Putting gas, gas, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, and out to eat, and then the movie. And, and, and look, it may be a room, right? You can throw a room in. Okay, you can throw a room in. Yeah. See, boom. Yeah. $200. Now. That happens. Press your line on that date. Go okay. all the way back to the beginning of the date, right? All right. You first meet her. Mm. Boom. The two hundred dollars that she was going to spend on all of that. Mm. And what if she tells you, "Just give me the two hundred dollars, and I'm going to have sex with you." Would you do that? Yes, guys will. But you say no. me, right? Not both. Me? Would I, I do that? Guys, I talk to a lot. They, guys tell me they won't do it. Oh, guys a lot of guys say, will. I know a lot that will. A lot of guys say they won't. Almost really? Every guy says no. Well, 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 dudes say no only for the fact that, I I mean, some dudes will pay $200 for some pussy. I ain't going to lie. But I haven't. But I'm saying they know it's not $200 worth of. Yeah, I know. I'm saying $200. But yeah. he, I just tell guys basically, like, the money that you're going to spend on the date, the bottle, the room, mm. would you just, instead of investing all of that, mm. would you give it to the girl? Hell because yeah. in my mind, you're Who's doing well? all of that so that you can have sex. You're yeah. investing, right? Well, and, but guys tell mm. me no. Guys say that they will, like, overwhelmingly, maybe, like, probably two or three guys say yes. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot but, of guys are lying. Because a lot of guys say no, a lot of guys say no, a lot of guys say that that's but no you got friends all. on back page, you can dispel that one. <laughs> <laughs> you ask them, we need one of them on, on three way. Ask them because, see, they they will tell you, no, no, he gonna come spend that 200. <laughs> well, see, that's it's you know, it's, that's a little different, but, but I'm see, just saying, like, but you, regular guys say, mm-hmm. I ask a lot of guys. Mm. A lot of guys say that they want to have a good night. When they're spending the money, it's more like they're spending it on both of them. But you got to keep in mind, too, a lot of these guys, a lot of these guys do like you, so they're not going to tell you the truth, you know. I mean, I have a lot of male friends that I have never done nothing with, which is platonic. They have girlfriends. And Mm. I I I ask a lot of guys this. And because I just have conversations, you mm. know, and some of them have told me like, yeah, I would. I just give it a win. I mean, I'm because the, well, see, the reason why I asked asked you, you know, were dates for men or women? Because in the in the in the grand scheme of things, in the beginning, dates are really for are really for um, dates are really for women in the beginning, mm-hmm. because yeah. you know, because it's like. It's like after a while, it's like you know she wants she wants to know if she you know can be around you, can she trust you, or you know what what's the deal with you? But when a guy, because a guy's ready to go once you meet him, but once a guy's looking for a wife, then you know dates are really beneficial to a man because now he's like, okay, I get to ask her certain questions, I get to see what her demeanor is, I get to see you know what type of food does she knows how to cook. You know, if we were to have children. Will she probably know how to, you know, feed them? Or is she going to feed them McDonald's all day? What type of person is am I going to be around? Who am I having in my bed? Who am I laying up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, so like, it, it, I feel like it flip-flops. Men, men really want to. Men are the ones. I tell you, it's supposed to be about the woman. Because there's no courting about, nowadays. Courting, you know, courting yeah, is yeah, gone. It's supposed to be, yeah, it's supposed to be about the man courting the female. Yeah. You know? Uh, but I feel like women don't care. Women don't care. Like, most women do not care. Like, a date can be so simple. I don't encourage women to, you know, necessarily take that route of going on all these coffee dates and stuff yeah. like that. But women will do it. Women would, Women don't care for the most part. It's about the time. But see, you know, but see how things he- was held so, together was about them caring. About stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So women don't care about it. No. Yeah, and it, and so see that needs to be restored. Now I think it's mainly about the men. The men want to take the female out, and you know, they want to show her that it, you know, they them them they're the type of guy for her, you know, type mm. of thing. So women don't 
Women don't care. Women don't care. I think like, they need don't... to because they don't. They don't. They don't they see. They don't see. Yeah, they they do. don't see the value in certain things that a man that would do certain things for them. You know, they don't see it long term, like down the road, like a guy that'll actually hold doors open and stuff. Because see, but see, at the same time too, you know, talking about dates, you know, chivalry and stuff. You know, guys. Nowadays, you kind of you kind of gotta have an edge to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You gotta you gotta have an edge to you, like, cause you know, as a guy nowadays, if you're sitting up there holding the door open, pulling out chairs, and you know, throwing coats over puddles and stuff, you know, you you spend your whole date not even you know, cause I tell guys to like touch, but I'm not saying like like inappropriately touch. Like a guy, you have to feel a guy. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes he gotta put his hands on you know like your back or like pat you on the shoulder or something or if you tell a joke sometimes he he has to find an excuse to touch you because once he's like opening doors and pulling out chairs and stuff at the end of the night (laughs) when you go to kiss him and this nigga cold as shit you you know what i'm saying it's awkward you know but if he spent the whole you know time on the date you know around you touching you and like you know laughing with you and engaging you more you know you'll be more comfortable you know, around him, you know, doing certain things, but at the same time, he got to show that he, he got to show that he's like a, 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 a chivalrous good guy. You know, the guy that you should be with, and you know, things like that. But a lot of guys don't understand like correct like English on a date, like you know, talking about chivalry and stuff. Like when you go out on a date, fellas, you know, with females, stop sitting across from them. You don't sit across from them. That's not good body language. That's like a versus kind of thing. I shouldn't have to stare across the table and look at you. What you have to do is you have to sit beside her. Can't what? sit across. You sit beside them. Why? Because it's, it's more of a... When the king and the queen's on the throne, they're sitting beside each other. That's more of a correct... It's a body language thing. You see what I'm saying? There's certain there's certain tones in certain things. When you... When, when I'm sitting across from you and I'm talking to you, I'm really talking at you. That's in a more of a battle-like position. Does that make sense? I could see how it makes sense. Yeah. But when you sit beside them, like, he could put his hand on your lap, slap your lap, and y'all laughing and stuff. He could show you stuff, like, right beside, you know, right beside you on his phone. All kinds of different things. You see what I'm saying? Certain little corrections like that. This this is what you know draws people together. I'm gonna try to do a show about that though. It's a it's a whole bunch of little mini breakdowns and things that you have to do on a date. But you know I don't want to really come out with a show like that and then you know what I'm saying. Niggas not even courting no more. You know, there's no yeah. court, there's no more court courtship. Courtship is like it's like extinct nowadays. It just you just Definitely. jump straight to something else. So and and you can hear about it even in the music. Like you don't hear nobody talking about going out like the first day you meet somebody you pouring Hennessy on them and shit right (laughs) so no you're absolutely right about that so I don't know but we're gonna we're gonna do a show on uh first date do's and don'ts and stuff I want you to come up with like 10 10 different things and I'm gonna come up with ten different things too, and and just stuff that I'll like you know surprise or stuff that you know people can can learn from and use on you know their endeavors going out if people are choosing the court these days, you know. So yeah. where where do you think is a is a good like first place to go on like a date? Like what are what are good places? Like if you can name five good places. Oh, uh, five good places mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or how should a good date go like in your in your in your mind because you know people think people think that you guys spend like an astronomical amount of money and then you know do all of this planning and stuff hmm I mean really just out to eat the old typical dinner and the movie thing really that's fine that's you know that's perfectly fine are you out to eat I think for a first date it'd be a little too much to go back in the house and have drinks I think that'd be a little too much Yeah. but I mean just 
out to eat is fine. It's about to eat. You know, vibe for a little bit. Mm. And, and, and the night, you know, like, it don't, it don't, it doesn't take much. Mm. Because I think dates are more for, like, you know, like, see, like, on a date with me, I don't want it to be more about the money. Like, I've I've taken people on, like, expensive dates and stuff before, but, you know, over time, like I said, you know, when you get older and, you know, you out here doing your thing, you realize it's not about, you know, not about the money or anything. You know, the date's really about getting to know the other person and knowing who who you're with, you know? Yeah, I think yeah. it's more of a, like, it's like a, an investment. I mean, you know, yeah. When you take somebody on a date. Mm. Cause see, it's, know, it's, so. cause see, I'm, cause I'm not about to take nobody out and then go take somebody to go see somebody juggling swords and shit. And then the next time I gotta take this person out, now the swords gotta be on fire and these niggas gotta be cartwheeling and shit. I'm not about to be, yeah, you I know, see doing all of that. You know, I tell guys all the time, it's better to be liked for your personality or hated for your personality than to be liked for money and stuff. Because when shit goes south. When she don't fuck with you as a person, then she's going to be like, oh, well, you got money. So that's why I'm staying around. Whereas if the money runs out, you know what I'm saying? She'd and be sometimes like, I feel like people got to cut their losses. Yeah, Like, I think of because sometimes you've invested a lot of time or money into someone, into a relationship. You know, uh, people stick around, but just cut your losses. Yeah. You know, you took an investment, you made an investment it was the wrong move. Yeah. Cut your losses and either. Like, a lot of uh, people might say, oh, why well, took this person on a date? You're waiting for a return on investment. Like, like guys and females, they might feel like they took this girl out. Mm. You know, spent money on it, so now she owes you some sex or something, you know? Well, yeah, so guys do that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, do have some bum ass dudes around. that do that a lot, yeah. Yeah, just stick around, stick around, and then feel like she owes you. But y'all will you feel know, the same way too, because if you if you two hundred and but you but you don't but but it's hard for somebody to feel like that because if you two hundred dollars in the hole, <laughs> exactly that's what I'm saying. And sometimes you just gotta cut your loss. Yeah. So that's the thing. That's the thing, guys and ladies, man. Don't give no more than you can lose or feel you can lose. Yes. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Investing all this money in somebody you gotta spend that. It's about. nothing money. Yep. You're right. Yeah, and and then you keep and then you're gonna keep investing more and more and more, and then when it don't work up, you're really gonna be blown. But yeah. you gotta you gotta know the warning signals. You gotta see them. You gotta acknowledge them. You gotta cut your losses. Mm. Yeah, you know it's been plenty of times where I've uh, you know loaned money out or oh yeah taking money out and then. They do some fuck shit, and I'm like, ah, oh, why did I do that? You sometimes, know, sometimes, like, let me put them back. Sometimes, but I just cut my mouth. Like, yeah. Oh. No, that's right. No, but sometimes to the point, you don't even, you don't even want the money back. Sometimes yeah, you're like, you good. Exactly. That's what people got to start doing. They got to stop wanting the stuff back. Mm. Just let it go. Just cut your loss. Mm. Just, just cut it. Yeah. Leave it alone. Shoot, man, we are definitely in here kicking it, man. That is that is real. Like cut your losses too. But this is this is things this is things people should know before going out on a date. This is things that you should know before you even you know go out on a date. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah. So what you up to? What do you got going on? Do you you know, let everybody know where they can find you. Yes, um, on Instagram. Okay. It's gonna be at Draco. Okay. D R A A C O Danilo. Okay. Definitely. I'll follow back. Mm. And um yeah. And definitely, if you guys have any questions or anything, um, email them. Um, if I put this up on Facebook, email them on um, email them to playertalk8 at gmail.com. Or you can comment them down below. We'll try to, you know, cover them. Because I want to um, read you some, like, you know, people's emails that they sent to me. 
and I want to see if we can answer some of their questions, you know, here on, you know, on the show. So that would be a good look, man. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us, man. You definitely chopped up some big game tonight. I'm definitely yes, gonna enjoy listening to everything. Me. Most definitely. And you're gonna and you're shit. You you are you are a part of the family, so you know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> so definitely I'm gonna be harassing you on certain shows. I'm gonna be like, hey listen, I need your opinion on this, that and the third. When, you know, my audience is getting on my nerves with these questions and I need to have a real lady's perspective on certain things because, you know, you take guys out on dates. Damn. When the, where the hell was this back in like the uh, <laughs> late 2000? <laughs> no, nobody take people out on dates no more, man. But I know it's getting late, and I know your bedtime is like came and gone, like shit. Do you have to work tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. The okay. only reason I'm up now is because I went to sleep at like six. Oh man, see, you're messing around. <laughs> you messing around. Well, I see. The only reason why I'm up is because, like I told you, I, I had an edible. I didn't, I didn't been asleep for like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventeen hours, like shit. And then the whole time thing, you know? Yeah, what's so. going on with this weather, though? This man, snow. this snow shit is hilarious, man. But, I, I mean, we, we fucking the planet up, right? That's all I'm going to say. We fucking the planet up. In March. Because you know it yeah. snowed around this time last year, Yeah. Too. And then the snow one... Yeah, it snowed on one good week halfway into March. Like, mid-March. Yep. So I mean that's that's what's going on. We fucking the planet up, and it's evident, you know. But I don't know. We just gotta. We just. I mean, I don't think we're gonna go through anything directly, but you know, you just gotta warn the kids. Warn the kids, man. Listen, man, we fucked this planet up. <laughs> man, definitely. Yeah. Well, everybody, this is the show for tonight, man. We done kicked it. We done kept it real with y'all. We're gonna go, we're gonna have a, a a a date show, a do's and don'ts. First date do's and don'ts, and you know yeah. we're gonna find out a lot of different things, and we're gonna we're gonna go more in depth, man. We done we done had some great questions tonight, man. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, definitely send me an email at playertalk eight at gmail. Dot com. That's playertalk8 at gmail.com. I'm in here with my girl Lucy. We in here chopping it up. So, haha, you guys don't get to see what happens after the show. <laughs> We're going to be kicking it and um, talking some real shit like we do. Or, you know, Lucy about to get some rest because I know she, she got to do some super mom stuff tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not as hard being a mother out here. How is it being a how is it being a mother? Like like when you first started, like is it different now? Um, yeah, um uh, it gets worse every day. <laughs> no. <I'm sorry. laughs> People say the opposite. They say it get better. She <laughs> no, said it gets no, worse I'm every day. <laughs> She's like, I'm holding on by a thread. I'm holding on by a thread, so I need y'all to pray for me. <laughs> Like nah, but is, is do you think it'll be different if you had like a, a baby girl instead of a boy? Oh yeah, of course. That's yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, uh, boys raise themselves pretty yeah. much. You know. I heard I heard girls steal the mother's uh, beauty when they have a uh, when they have a girl. Yeah, it's, it's it's a lot it's a lot with that too. You know. Uh, mothers and daughters and things like that mm. it, it's just a lot it's just a lot that, that you know sure. well alright man we kicking it man alright we out of here alright so y'all be safe and you guys have a wonderful productive evening yep Good night. alright Good night. <laughs> Thank mm-hmm. you.
Tales of the tear. Uh, Young black felony is red blood of the man. Uh, Gave this bitch a taste of that little boy she cherished. Uh, Fuck the veins up, now she shoot a foot with the hair. Uh, Twinkle toes, no single hoes that like to treat their nose. Sending muff pics, photos that got their treat exposed. Yeah. I swear you ought to keep your daughter from this dirt bag. Dog nigga, scum of the earth for what it's worth. I've been handling probation well. Smoking blunts 36 months and I ain't seen a chill. Making music to make some mail. Fuck the recognition. Uh, but I guess my record just too reckless for the record business. Once